Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of EU4 as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. We are, well, not, maybe not crushing the Turk, I don't know. <laughs> they still have an army, they could still uh, fight back. And we are also trying to claw our way back into the Imperial Graces. Uh, yeah, he's losing authority and that's kind of the irritating point here. Either he has to get up to... <laughs> I need him to lo either lose that entirely or I need him to get up to the next level. So that he... So that that point goes away, either way. Uh, because right now that just boosts his strength. Uh, so if I can get... I need to get at least three electors. I'm still trying to get... Ansbach. Plus seven for diplomatic reputation. They have plus sixty. Good grief. How can you have plus sixty? Okay, so let's see. They have from tradition, they have plus one from tradition. Uh, they have diplomatic, so that's another plus two. They have espionage, which I believe adds. Something? No? Just diplomats? Okay, they could... I suppose they could have some extra policies. But I think we'll have to go with... Influence. Yeah. I think we'll have to go with influence. We can pick up... Uh, two diplomatic reputation by ID groups there, and another... Extra point for fulfilling the idea. And of course, we can cheap, more cheaply integrate our subject states. And yeah, copper bottoms, let's go. This irks me. I need so many diplomatic points, it's not even funny. Uh. Let's see, better relationship. Yeah, I need to keep maintain that one. I. Yeah, and it costs diplomatic power point, that's the ugly part. This one costs military points, so that's fine. This costs military points, that's fine. I'd like to cancel that, but if I do that, I'll lose so many cultures. So that'll be a huge drawback, and then I can never actually get the cultures back again, so... Nah, not gonna do that, and we're not gonna take up either. Uh, they are still unhappy, that's too bad. I'll just have to be unhappy for a little while. Yeah, the Spaniards are just taking down the forts. Uh, yeah, which isn't a bad idea. We're marching on KCA, so we can march on the next one. I don't, oh, you decide to park everything there. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Let's retreat a bit away. They didn't retreat further than Constantinople. Minsk has converted. Yeah, you're probably trying to march around, I guess. And... Where are you marching? You're marching that way. Okay. His entire army is milling about here. Could get ugly. Siege of Ankara is done. So now we have to consider what to do next. Um, stay here for now. We're gonna wait for the massive doom stack up there to move. Okay, then we can march across. Where are you moving? You are moving on Konya. Okay, in that case, move in. Move it, move it, move it. Konya is dry land, so this is gonna be painful. Um, you too, move in. I think we're gonna need everything we can. 
Or did he just decide to split up his forces a bit? Well, the French are moving there. And they're force marching, so they're probably gonna... Not gonna get away in time. Ooh, lovely. Sharing is caring. Cabinet cooperation. Free monarch points. Best event ever. Okay, so they are gonna kill them up there. I'm gonna kill them here. Life is good. They won't have many parts of retreat. Um, damaged one can go back. And the other two... Let's see, where are you retreating? Tekka. Okay, let's move to Tekka. See if you stop there. And they're losing up here as well. Oh, okay, so that's just... Influence is now... Oh, okay. Oh, the clergy just got... A bit uppity. Um, they got very uppity. Uh, Inquisitor... Oh, okay, that's fine. By May, that'll sort itself out. The annexed subject modifier should be gone now. Which should mean that we'll have much better diplomatic reputation. 3.71 points. Well, that should have an impact here. And uh, legitimacy plus 35. Diplomatic reputation plus 37. And look at that. Even Liege is starting to come around. We're still improving relations with Liege. I believe, yes. Hmm. So we could swing Liege around to us. It wouldn't matter as long as Mainz and the Mainz and Alsace are on the Palatinate side though. Can't do anything about Würzburg. They're just too cemented for that. The one thing I want to do something about this is the Alsacian alliance. I have to trick them out of it. That's probably my best bet. And I kind of need Ansbach to vote for someone that isn't the Palatinate. Yeah, I'll probably have to... Uh, oh. So, let's see. Give them even more influence? Uh, heck with that. Um, here's the problem. That'll cut their influence, but I'd have to... I'd pretty much have to have to do that. I have to give them money. Oh well, I'll do that. They'll be incredibly disloyal. So I'll make a generous donation, because that raises their loyalty, but not their influence. And of course I could call call this too, just to sort them out, but they're unhappy. They're, I don't mind. They can be unhappy for a little while. We can suffer that. Yeah, they're retreating, and they're probably going to retreat all the way down here somewhere. By the looks of it. I think it's safe to say that we have this war won at this point. I just have to siege everything down. Or occupy. Okay, and you are probably marching straight for that fort. No? Maybe not. Uh, I recall the diplomat. Yeah, Liege would be relatively easy to swing by now. The, an alliance there would make them... Yeah. That would make them very interested in voting for us. And I have a small window here, because when this is annexed in 1680, I lose a ton of diplomatic reputation. And I also have the Papal modifier. Leg it. Well, that lasts for quite a while, actually. Uh, I will see what we can do. You decided not to siege. Okay. Do I have a siege leader over here? No. Um, 
moment. Are you marching? You all of you are marching, so go down there. with you I'm still no that's pretty high let's see if we can boost that even higher and you're at war and you are losing badly is that Hessian reconquest of mains yeah that's okay so Hess Hess here Hess might eat Würzburg which is bad news for us or maybe not okay so they wouldn't He'd have to, yeah. The platinum would have to pick another elector. And who knows where, who they'll pick? Okay, so Spain arrived there first. Boo. And Spain's over there too. Where did the French army go? There you are. Uh, reverse course. What else? Yeah, the Slakta are still unhappy. They'll be happy again in a year. And. I don't really need the manpower again right now. I'm fairly sizable manpower. We're still making money. So it's okay that they're unhappy. That's why I'm not doing anything on that side. I figure it's okay. I can bide my time. So disputed successions. We can't really buy the tech until we get to the end of the year. Because that, that's when the ahead of time penalty expires. And Spain decided to leave. Oh, well that fort fell quickly. Let's go over all the way into the Persian side of things. I wonder just how much I have to beat them back before they... Oh. Turk is actually on the move. Um, don't move away. We need kind of need to sit here. Wait for the French. They're at 74, so they should be willing to <laughs> succumb pretty soon. But the French are attacking. I can't be any worse than that. <coughs> so let's move in. He's moving his army, so I'm gonna move all of mine. It's gonna be a bit of a slaughter. Not just a bit of a slaughter, but a very massive slaughter. Yeah, maybe not as much as I thought, but apparently we're still winning. Would have been nice if we could have just overrun them. That would be kind of spectacular. Um, might have to start thinking about what kind of a peace deal I want from them. I'm you know, getting quite a bit of horse score now, so. Okay. Um, you stay. And you move ahead. And you move further ahead. And you move over there. Oh, come on, I want to be re-elected. I want to have fun. Yeah, I think I'll have to take the long route here. So basically I'll have to get... Let's see. I have to take influence ideas. I need to pick up the diplomatic reputation stuff. Once I have the extra plus two from that and... And the extra ideas. There are at least two, so that's another four points. That would do it, I think. Hey, there goes Mainz. So Mainz is no longer an elector. Or a country, for that matter. Uh. Hmm. 
Württemberg. And you are, of course, allied to the Palatinate. Of course you are. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be pain in the arse to swing around. Okay, Grand Captain died. Mm. Wait a second. Why am I not making more money than that? Reinforcements? Okay. And I'm rooting out corruption. Ugh. Maybe that hasn't updated yet, has it? Let's see now. Uh, leaders, that's about 30. Uh, leader cost advisor. Yeah, it has updated, so... That is what I have in income. I kind of don't want to fall too far behind on this either. Ah, uh, that uh, fine. We're all armies, guy. We can now go for this. Let's see. That gets us the town hall, which is kind of cool. Uh, constitutional stuff, which I can't use. Another idea group, which I can't afford. Oh, I. Probably should save up points for that then. Uh, no, I'm gonna finish quality ideas before we pick more military. And I, yeah, I have to go with influence. I, if I'm going to get the Holy Roman Empire, I need influence. And I'm not gonna buy the ideas. I need this tech parity to. Yeah, that's the problem. I have so few points. So few points. I need to find someone I can spy on. Someone with a lot of diplomatic tech that I can spy on. That would be just about everyone. Uh, why not the Emperor? I hate your guts and I'm gonna ruin you anyway. Minster is the only elector I have. Ansas is the one I desperately need, so... You are going to make a spy network over there. Build spy network. Oh, is this where you retreated? How fun. I thought you retreated down into Egypt or something, but apparently not. Yeah, I kind of need to get the diplomat by balanced, re unbalanced research fixed because this is expensive. Being this unbalanced, and I'm still paying diplomatic points. How many points a month now? To annex Venice, seven pump, seven points, seven points. So I'm actually losing points. Ouch. Okay. And that'll continue until you are annexed. Oh, good grief. They're at 89, at 90, it's time to uh, make some deals, I guess. Um, it's gonna be very hard to oust him. Unless I swing some favors. He doesn't vote for Ansbach, uh, for, uh, Alsa, uh, for Platinum, uh, sorry. That's the saving grace. He does, and there's no way I can fix that unless I can break their alliance. Um, which I intend to do. As soon as his favorite count builds up, it's going to take another six years. Then I can start some four wars and basically play ball with the Platinum. Ninety percent now. Um, recall the Alsatian one. <sighs> Is there any chance he'd vote for us instead? No. 
Not really. Okay. So let's see here. I need to make a peace deal where I do not spend diplomatic points. I need to save all my diplomatic points at this stage. Um, so this belongs to Georgia. Mm. Let's see. Check again. Ah. Georgia. Just want to see your claims. Did I... Ah. There we go. Okay, so these three and that one. Okay, and you, sir, have course where? Um, these three provinces. So they should be yours. We already occupied, okay. That's what you do occupy. Uh, so let me see what can I get without costing diplomatic points. Those four. Oh, so it does not apply to. Huh, that's unfortunate. At least the cost is reduced because we have just uh, justified demands and all that stuff. So those three definitely. Uh, yeah, they'll owe me favors, huh? Uh, returning course would cost points, which I cannot afford. Uh, revoking course wouldn't cost anything, so that's okay. Release nations, that would cost way too many points. No treaties. Not really interesting. Humiliate. I could do that, actually. That might not be a bad idea at this point. Humiliate them. Just for the power projection, because we currently have nuns. So we'll do that, and we'll have to take provinces from them to get it even higher, so it'll maintain it for a while. Uh, do you have any other claims. Georgia, let me see. Ah. No. Armenia has fabricated on those two. So I could turn this one over to Armenia. It would be costing more diplo points. quite a few, but it will gain more power, project power projection. And I kind of want to take more land as well. More of the upper coast. And they're gonna hate my guts for it. I'm gonna gain a fair bit of power projection. I could always take the islands there too. No, uh, that they wouldn't... They wouldn't join there, so... Oh! Um, maybe not the coast. Maybe I should work towards Jerusalem. Except I can't do that. Uh, let's see. So if I take that and see us. That's too expensive. Can go there. It's closer to Jerusalem, and I still have to get through these very expensive ones. Right, I... yeah. What do I claim on? I must have claims on something. I have claims on these. Does that lessen the cost? I forget. So, let's see. Ankara. And 
that's their that's their other big town though, so let's see da, da, da. That's a claim, so let's see. Take for rival. Have a claim. It should reduce something. Not sure what. Yeah, basically I have claims to add. We go for my claims instead. Oh, it's aggressive expansion reduction, I guess. Um, and that's not really interesting in this case. What the one there is to march towards Jerusalem, so... Okay. And that is about everything I can grab. It'll cost me a fortune in diplomatic points, but that'll just have to be... Hmm... <sighs> I'm going to gain 60 power projection from it, so that'll boost that above to 80, so I'll have that for a while. That's that's going to be good. I probably want them to revoke some cores as well. I can revoke one core. That's not going to give me power projection, That's and that's why I'm taking land rather than forcing, me, forcing him to revoke cores instead, which would be free. I just I don't want the power projection right now, so I can get more monarch points, specifically the diplo points. And this money isn't as valuable. <sighs> yep, let me do this. And the rest of you just move into Europe. Uh, increase autonomy. It's fine. because I don't take the water adjacency. Mm, not really worth it, plus one. Unrest is just painful. Um, and how much are you paying for corruption now? Yeah, that's the problem. Ah. Oh, of course, because now we've got extra for our extension as well. And we are now gaining a diplomatic point. How did that swing around? I mean, I know we got one extra point, but... Well, the annexation cost of Venice went down. Yes, of course, because I know one point less because my diplomatic reputation went down because I have overextension. Ugh. And that means I'm gonna fall even further behind on electability. So, I have some choices here. I can either push as far as I can into the tree here. I need to get all the way up there. That's how many points? That's 360 times 5. Uh, 1500 plus... Uh. Oh, mathematics makes my head hurt. That's 1800 points, I think. 1800 points to get there. And I need something like 1500 to catch up. The te yeah, about the same to catch up in tech there. Gah. Yeah, and to make matters even more fun, I'm gonna get a sucky, sucky, sucky air. 
He's 47, so... And he's just 18. He has zero dips, so we'll have even... We lose two points there. Then I'll have a gain of five, once Venice is integrated. Yeah, this is gonna be a long game. Uh, this can't happen soon, so... Either have to pay the penalty for unbalanced research for quite a while. And it is one heck of a penalty. Or I can start... Fixing other things. Um, Karki Lu has... Guaranteed by... Guaranteed by Hormuz. <laughs> okay. Um... Not gonna help you, buddy. You can move my troops around there and say hi. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be electable until after we've integrated Venice and after that modifier has expired and after we've actually got climbed all the way up in the diplomatic tree. And that means I can't really afford the points to integrate these two until then, and it's gonna cost. Hmm. Not as much as I thought. Okay. 273 points. Or I maintain them as a diplomatic relation slot, and that's gonna cost me 12 points a year. So if I integrate them now, I need to do. Ugh, mathematics. 273 points. Heck with it. It's gonna be the long, a long game. It really is. And um, I'm gonna force them to return territory. I cannot get elected anytime soon, so yeah, unfortunately. So I'll just have to eat all of these two, these two as well as Venice, and then I can consider it. Not before. That's what it looks like right now. So we're gonna start the annexation there as well. So that means we're gonna lose points at a very rapid pace until this finishes at 78 and that'll slow down again so I won't be electable for a long time which also means I don't really have to bother with breaking the Emperor's alliances just yet uh, and I guess I'm gonna stay friends with France for a while longer I'm gonna butter up to the Sp to Spain. Now we're at 80, so now this should never actually break the alliance, no matter what. At least that's what the uh, that's what the dev, dev said at one point when they introduced the trust system. Yeah, corruption is bad, <laughs> really bad. Improvements get inflation. Right now we have almost no inflation. I thought we had a dude for that, no? Uh, okay, go for it. Grab all the points you can. Better relations over time, so... Everyone forgets what we're doing. She's cheaper than the others, so I'm gonna keep her. And that one would be nice to have. Plus the diplomatic reputation would really help us. Plus one, rather, uh, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. The attack. Let's see. How soon is the Palatinate King gonna die? That's question number one. He's 29, so <laughs> he's not gonna die anytime soon. And he has an heir of 13. Yeah. And he is losing Imperial authority, so. So I'm gonna gamble that he's gonna lose this when he dies, and that's gonna take another 25 years, which is actually rather fine for us. That's roughly when we want the peace to happen. So, yeah. 
the translation to happen. Because by then we should have integrated all three of our subject states and we might, just might, have clawed us up uh, in the inference tree. Oh yeah, there's that, of course. I kind of forgot that. Oh, no. Um, the cheap, I forgot about that, the cheaper cost. Is it worth it? Nah, I don't think it is, to be honest. I might save some points doing that, but I would lose time. We'll just suffer the tech stuff, we won't. I will cancel this mission because I will not build a ground fleet. After all, uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep integrating those, and I'll probably uh, smack Karakunda around, surrender that core back to Georgia. They would be an interesting subject, but I don't think it's really worth it. It would cost us even more diplomatic points, and right now, that's not really something we can afford at all. I'll take a short break here and I'll consider where to move from here. There are other states we can eat. Bukhara, Muscovy, Tamaristan. Tempting targets all. I will see. Th thank you for watching and I hope you'll continue to do so.